Don't want them. Nah, he's argumentative, but he's just wanting to catch attitude because we made him get on the ground and we drew up on him. So, other than that, he's just trying to throw some attitude for us drawing a gun on him. But, hey, you know, what happens when you carry a gun bigger than mine? So, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I just wanted to check with you real quick. Uh, do you know if uh, he has that case, if uh, he's restricted from carrying firearms or anything like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, right. I'm going to run the numbers up through um, Marcella at dispatch. Yeah, but through Marcella and see if she can go ahead and give me a criminal history on the weapon. If nothing comes back, then I'll go ahead and uh, return it to him. If, uh, because he technically hadn't cr committed a crime at this time. He just ain't being smart about it. And then he's trying to blame it on me. It's kind of funny because uh, he said that we dealt with him earlier in the night. And we had no clue who he was. We just ran his 2729 because he parked a tractor trailer up in a residential area behind a, in a alleyway. And so I told him he couldn't be there. So he decides to go park it and then carry the gun all the way back to his house instead of leaving it. We tried making it sound like, well, it's our fault because we told him to move his truck. So it's funny. So, but if there's nothing else, then I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. Always. All right. Later.